Hmm. Now we can start. We're going to make some percussion. My name is Roger. Are you with me? Welcome, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Roger and I work as a musician. I also have my studio where I'm recording and mixing, and today I'm gonna make some percussion. You can make percussion of almost anything that makes a sound, and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do a shaker today. Let me just first show you some metal percussion I have made with help of my father and a couple of friends. My drumsticks, my weapons today, two screwdrivers. I don't have any metal sticks, so I go with screwdrivers, and it works. These are just metal tubes that my father have welded some holder to it, so I can use it on cymbal stands or percussion stands. Um, they are cool. This a friend made for me, just some thin metal plates holding, to, holding together and it's a real trashy cool sound. Like that. Really cool. I'm planning to make a sampler instrument with maybe 50 percussion sounds that doesn't come from real percussion. I'm talking about trash cans, radiators, things like that. Now, let's make a shaker. I will get one, wait. These shakers I have bought, these are from Rhythm Tech, both of them. This is called Studios, and this is called just Cans. And this is what a shaker is. It's just a tube with some kind of feeling that makes a sound when you shake it. So we need some tubes. Maybe one of these. This is for sending posters or prints or something. Uh, this is plumping pipe. We can fill these, but I won't do that. I will use a couple of other things. Potato chips. It's been potato chips in this one. So let's get rid of that. What more do we need? Well, we need something to fill it with. And then I have some rock salt. Let's open it up and fill it with rock salt. Uh, yes, salt in Swedish and English is the same. Rock salt looks like this. Let's fill it. Don't have to fill it full. Shouldn't fill it full. Maybe that was too much even. Just put a lid on and see how it sounds. I think it was too much rock salt, so I'll just pour a little bit out. A little more out. Perfect. Then I will need some tape and preferably a strong tape like a gaff tape. Uh, one more time. That didn't work. Just to keep the lid in place. There we have a shaker. We have a shaker with rock salt. Let's do one more. I have the, this. This was really, really tasty. A real Scotch whiskey, Lafroig. Uh, smells and tastes like tar. Uh, and I have these bits and pieces, screws and things. So I'm gonna fill this a little bit with that. A little more. heavy. Let's tape that one. Didn't work. 
tape. This is heavy. Just so that the lid is secure, like this. Will this hold? Probably not if you're gonna use it live and a lot. But this is a very, very different sound from other shakers. I will use it in my studio, but very rarely probably. But now I have it. That's a way you can make shakers. I use the whiskey tube and the potato chip tube because then I don't need to throw them away. Be aren't you annoyed when people throw things away where they shouldn't, like in the sea and the lakes and the beaches, and it looks like this? I have joined up with Team Seas, and the goal is to raise $30 million before New Year, which sounds ridiculous, but we are on our way. Half, we're half the way already. And they are, have joined with Ocean Conservancy and Ocean Cleanup to get rid of garbage in the seas, beaches, and especially the rivers. If you want to make a contribution, please go to teamseas.org and uh, $5 will get rid of a whole big bag of garbage. So that will help them a lot. A short video for you today. Go and make some percussion. Uh, potato in Swedish is potatis. Potatis. Until next time, roger that.